Hi everyone, this 3 minutes banner tutorial part 8 is chewed and delete. Now we just tap into edit mode and then we choose vertex as our selection. And now we just click any vertex on the group and then we press E, then we extrude it. And then we can press E again to extrude it. But we can save the time by press Ctrl and then left click and then you extrude it along. Okay. Now we will look what the difference between the edge and the vertex. So we just Ctrl tab and we'll use edge as our selection. Now we just right click on the right side of the cubes and then we press E to extrude it. And also the extrude function is working with the transformation manipulator as well. So you just press E and then you press Y to extrude along the Y axis. Then you press E again and then press Z to extrude along the Z axis. And now you press E and then extrude along the X axis. When you extrude along the X axis, you will find out it's from a straight line because the edge overlap and the overlapping edge doesn't form a face. When you choose one of the edge and then you press X to delete it, you'll find out it actually contains a free edge. Because when you extrude an edge, it will make another free edge to form a face. So here is where the free edge comes from. So now we just control tap to the face and we want to see what the difference between the face when you extrude it. Now we press E on the face. And you can see that now the curves have extended to the place where the mouse pointing at. So you can extend the curves by moving it up, or you can shrink the curves by moving it down. Now we try to delete a face and see what happened. Press X and then face, and the face gone. And now we want to delete an edge. When you delete an edge, you see the face gone as well. Because in Blender, any vertex edge which are not connected, they won't form a face. You can try the on the vertex as well, and then you will see why. Now we just control tap back to the vertex, and then we delete a vertex. As you can see that, when they are not connected, the face will disappear. Now we try to use the new function, subdivide. We just press Z, change to wireframe mode, and then we choose two vertex by shift, right click, then you subdivide. If you just want to delete vertex without affecting the face area, you use this soft rather than delete. So you just press on the middle vertex and you press X and you choose the soft vertex. And you press C and you notice the face is still here. 